God bless you students. Mathematics class 7th. Chapter number 4. Exercise 4b. Today we will do. And in previous exercise 4a. We have learnt how to find the square root. By prime factorization. And today we will learn how to find. Square root by division method. Very easy method. Uh, I will solve the question. And I will explain the method also. Okay. Question number 3. Part number 1. Find the square root of 3969 by division. Okay, what will we do? That we will write this question. 3969. And then we draw the lines. Okay, and the first step that we will do. That we will make the pairs. The pair of 69 and the pair of 39. Okay, is there any perfect square which is very near to 39? Yes, 36 you can say. So 36, we can write here 6, 6 are 36. 6, 6 are 36. And now we will subtract it. 9 minus 6, 3. And we will bring down the pair 6 and 9. Okay, so in the division we can write something here different and something there different but while finding the square root by division method we will write the same thing here and same thing as answer. Uh, for example 4 4s are 16, 5 5s are 25, 6 6 are 36. So we will write the same number at both places. Okay, the next step is we will Take the double of our quotient. So double of quotient 6 to the 12. So we will write 12 here. Okay, now the question is this. By which number? Okay, if I write 12 and increase 1, it becomes 121. Then I have to multiply 121 by 1, and the answer will be 121. If I increase 2 then I will have to multiply 122 by 2 and then 2 2's are 4 again 2 1's are 2 244 if I increase 3 then I will have to multiply 123 by 3 3 3 is 9 okay you can remember that whatever you increase here you will multiply by the same number 3 3 is 9 3 2's are 6 and 3 3 is 3 1's are 3 3 69 so if I increase 3 here, I will write the 3 there and now I will multiply 123 by 3. The answer will be 369 and remainder will be 0 and we can write that the square root of 3969 is 63. So that is our answer. Okay, once again, I will explain the method. Okay, we will write the value and then we will draw the lines, one vertical and one horizontal line and then we will make the pair and the first pair is 39. So, we will try to find a number which is a complete square very near to 39. That is 36. So, we, be, we will write 6 here and 6 there. 6 is a 36. So the remainder is 3. Now we will bring down the next pair that is 69. It becomes 369. And here we will double the quotient. Okay, when we uh, double the quotient it becomes one, uh, 12. And now we will write 1 at left side of 12. It becomes 121 and we will multiply 121 by 1. It becomes 121. If we increase 2 here, then it becomes 244. If we increase 3 here and multiply 123 by 3, it becomes 369, which is our required value. So we will put 3 here and 3 there, and the values will be cancelled, and our answer is 63. That is the square root of 3969. Let's do the second question. Let's do the second part. 11025. 
and we have to find the square root by division. In first part, there were four digits and uh, we made two pairs. Okay, but here the number of digits is 5. 11, 0, 2, 5. The first pair is 25. The second pair is 1 and 0. And the third pair is 1. Okay. So, we will start making the pairs from right side, not from left side. Otherwise, the answer will be wrong. So, if we start making the pairs from right side, 25 pair, then 10 pair, and then 1. If any value uh, remains single, no problem. Okay. So, if 1 is here, we will start 1 1s are here. 1 1s are 1. And 1 minus 1 will be 0. And our pair will come down. That is 10. Okay. Now, we will take the double of the quotient. 1 2 the 2. Okay. Now, the same practice as we have done already. That we will increase 1 on the left side of 2. It becomes 21. If we multiply it by 1, then it becomes 21, which is greater than 10. It means that we cannot even multiply it by 1. So, what in this condition or in this situation, what we have to do? We have to bring down the second pair. So, we will bring down the second pair and we will add 0 here and 0 there. Now, it becomes 20. The same question, if I increase 1 here and 1 here, it becomes 201, that is very less than 10 to 25. If I write 5 here and 5 here and then I multiply, it becomes 1025. So, it means that I will write 5 here and 5 in the answer and then I multiply 205 by 5, it becomes 1025. So, our required square root is 105. So, we can say that the square root of double 1025 is 105. So, one thing students that you have to keep in mind is this, that when, while making the pairs, you have to start from right side, not from left side. Because if we start from left side, uh, the First pair will be 11, second pair will be 0, 2, and the third pair will be only 5. So it will be wrong. So we have to make the pairs from the right side. And the second thing, if we bring down the pair as it was 10, and here the value was 2, and if we write here 1 and it becomes 21, which is greater than 10, it means that uh, with which value we have to multiply 21 or 2 that it becomes equal to or less than 10. So, no value is there. So, what we have to do is that we will take the second pair down and we will increase 0 here and 0 there. This is very important. If we don't increase 0 there and 0 there, then the answer will be wrong. And then, 2, 0, 5 and if we multiply it by 5, Answer will be 1025 and it will be cancelled. So, our required square root of 11025 is 105. Okay, students, I have done two questions for you, and now I will give you some homework. That first, at least five questions, first five questions, I have done two parts for you. So, this is exercise number uh, 4b, and you have to do part number 3, part number 4 and part number 5. Okay, so in next video, I will do uh, 2 or 3 questions from 6 onward, 6 to 10 and then once again, I will assign some homework to you. Thank you for watching. God bless you.